My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to bloom your photos in Photoshop. Okay, so we have our image. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag the layer, background layer, to the, the new layer button. And that makes a new layer, a copy of it. And uh, we're going to, so nothing looks different. Of course not, exact perfect copy. So we're going to go to filter. Oop, need to make it visible. <laughs> going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And what this does is it just kind of, uh, kind of blurs everything to a certain pixel length. Uh, so this is kind of it's currently set at 4.1. Uh, we can go to 0.1 and nothing has happened. Uh, or we can go all the way to 250 and it's practically a giant gray blob. The reason why I use Gaussian Blur rather than Blur or Blur More is that I have a lot more control. I can blur it a little or I can blur it a lot rather than having to use the Blur filter just a whole bunch of times. It's good for adding a little bit of controlled fuzziness around an entire image. So that's what we want to do. So we're about four is good. Maybe add a little bit more. Why not? And hit OK. And now, uh, so this is the difference between the two layers. So for the background copy, then we're going to go to over up here, and we're going to go to overlay. And what this does is it uh, kind of makes it uh, blush out the color, uh, kind of gives it also a little bit of a fuzzy effect. And that's how you uh, bloom in Photoshop. So now that you know how to create the bloom, you can kind of add a little intensity to all your images. My name is Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.